you do. You do, don't you? But just to be sure, let's go through a few rules, shall we? Rule number one is so easy. I know it's loud in here, but don't shout at me. Rule number two's for the drunken fool. Sleeping on the bar, it's not meant for drool. Number three is a simple task. If you want something, simply ask. Don't reach over the bar and don't be a thief. The fact that people do this, I'm in disbelief. Now, number four's a little hard, but when you choose to pay with a credit card, you can leave a tip, you can write thank you, but please don't request a rendezvous. Now, where was I? Number five, that's right. You're not impressing us with your fight. You're embarrassing yourself and making a mess. See that chick you were with? Yeah, she just left. And that brings us to rule number six. I know things get crazy with alcohol in the mix, but making out on the bar is so not classy. And I've seen people go at it. It's pretty nasty. Number seven, eight, and nine regards ordering. And just a word of advice, we hate muddling. So making your mojito is a dreadful deed. And that's because vodka tonics more our speed. This next one, I cannot stress enough, but when ordering, do it with one of us. And when you're trying to get our attention. If we're busy, contain your frustration. Getting mad, being vocal, and throwing stuff won't make me move faster. It'll piss me off. It's a pet peeve of every bartender. And I'm sorry, what? No, we don't have a blender. Yeah, no, we can't make a mudslide. I know in some cases that's a straight up lie, but making you a milkshake takes up too much time. The fanciest I get is putting in a lime. Number 10. For the obnoxious dude, pushing past everyone is f***ing rude. And at the end of the night, when we finish last call, no bribe or begging will get you alcohol. It's best to just go. I'll even call you a taxi, but no need to kiss me. I find that nasty. Now you may have to review this all again, but let me be clear. Don't steal my pen. I hope this helped, this list of rules. It's not for everyone, just those without a clue. Because at bars, people forget to think. But don't worry about that. Relax, have fun, and enjoy your drink. Hello! Thank you so much for watching Confessions of a Bartender. That's it! We are done! But we're not done with the Confessions of series. We are moving right along into Season 4 with Confessions of a Yogi. And this time around, we'd love to partner up with a sponsor. So, if you are a brand, or if you work for a brand, or know a brand who might be down to have some fun, we would love to hear from you. So feel free to leave a comment below. You could also email me directly through my website, CherylTexera.com, or you can hit us up on our Facebook fan page, Confessions of the Series. I so look forward to hearing from you guys. And more than anything, thank you so much for being on this journey with us and for your laughs, your comments, your likes, your shares. They mean the absolute world. And from our house to yours, have a wonderful, happy, and safe new year. Mwah! Love you guys. Bye.